you, Administrator. If you get before uh, we go, I'd like to have John Pye come up and Gary Gardner come up. Gary Gardner is the national chairman of InfraGuard. John Pye is responsible for the program at the FBI. And uh, first of all, we want to say it's because of folks like you who care about this. Uh, back in 2011, InfraGuard created a nationwide program to address space weather and any high impact threat that could impact the country for a month or longer. And these are the folks who are involved in it from around the country. It's called the Electromagnetic Pulse Special Interest Group. But as you can see from our conference proceedings every year, there's a big sun and there's a picture of an actual solar storm taken by uh, someone on the International Space Station. Uh, but what we've done this last year because of the work of the uh, administration in the strategy and in the action plan, uh, we organized a, a lot of top experts in industry and government uh, to look at this. And we noticed that you were calling for the whole of community <coughs> to respond and to, to planning and exercises. So we put together a rich bibliography and a uh, triple threat exercise that looked at space weather, EMP, and cyber with either one, three, or 12 month nationwide consequence. And what we'd like to do is share this with you, even though FEMA is the king of planning, we learn from you folks. And in fact, we appeal to the HC process and everything else in this work. But we would like to present this to you as the American public's response to a whole of community effort. And this is our whole of community effort a gift to FEMA. Ah, thanks. Thank you very much. I got one thing to add. Have you found yourselves talking to a lot of business folks and they kind of look at you and you start talking about this stuff and they shake their head and blow you off? We, we were presenting this to NATO and it was basically, we had a crowd like you except they were all about to fall asleep until the representative of Swiss Re got up. And this is something that's very powerful because it gets people attention. The representative of Swiss Re says, we've done our analysis and determined that a Clarington style event is an uninsurable risk and we're advising all of our clients to begin exempting geomagnetic storms from business continuity and business interruption and damages in their policies. Now think about that. Swiss Re, who will insure just about anything, has said a geomagnetic storm under current technology and current practices in industry is not an insurable risk and they will no longer reinsure the industry for it. That may get a few people to pay more attention. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.